Previously, we have created our first workflow that prints hello message. In most cases, your workflow will not do something on their own. Instead, they will manage other tasks or services. In Temporal, we call such tasks activities. Let's rewrite our hello world example and move the composing of hello message to its own activity. We can create a dedicated folder for our workflow and activity. Name it hello world. Move the workflow here. Ok, now create a new class, name it hello activity. And again, as a workflow, activity is just a plain PHP class. In most cases, it will be just a service in your application. Let's copy and paste method from the workflow. To tell Temporal SDK that this class should be considered as an activity, we again use annotations. And that's it, our activity is done. And we are ready to call it from the workflow. Ok, first of all, we need an instance of the activity. We use workflow facade and call static method new activity stop. Inside we provide the class of our activity. Also, we need to provide activity options. Here we need to tell Temporal how much time it is allowed for an activity to execute. Let's say 5 seconds. Then we call method on it, just like we did with any other PHP object. But one notice here, activity calls are asynchronous. It means that if we assign the result of this call to a variable, it will be not a string. Moreover, I can write some code after this line, for example, return hello world. What will happen here? Activity is called asynchronously, it is a non-blocking call. The result of this call is a promise. That will resolve in the actual value. So we call the activity, and while it is being executed, the flow continues. The next line is executed. If you want to wait and get the actual result of the promise, use the keyword yield. Let's return the result and change return type. So we start Roadrunner and run the workflow. And we get the result. We can make our console command a bit more friendly and instead of hard coding the name, we can provide it from the command line. Add an argument to the command. Call it name. It will be required. And a description. Then here we call this argument name. Let's check. Provide mic here and it works. This is the way we instantiate and call activity from the workflow. Activity can be any component in your application. Feel free to inject any dependencies here, like other services, repositories and so on. Think about the activity as an implementation detail of your workflow.